These are my puppets, and I've got a few to show you, actually. This is Jim and Jules, I suppose. I'll call them anything, whatever you like. Hello, are you... Oh, yeah, he has me. Yes, I, yes, I remember that. Okay, I just I need to talk to him. One of the earliest ones I ever picked up in the 1960s were these funny little things where you put your fingers in the holes and operate them and make the mouths open and close. Something for small kids to manage. And most of the toys I've got, which are puppets, are really finger ones for small kids because it's meant for their sort of um, abilities. But that's a nice start. It was a very early one and I still keep them, what, 50 years later. And another one is a typical thing where you have a glove like this and you put your hand inside it and instantly you've got no less than four puppets. There and there. Look at that. Little Red Riding Hood. One Little Red Riding Hood and the granny's over here and there's a wolf here and somebody else there. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? And of course the children can um, pretend they're each of the characters in turn and talk to them and squeaky voices or, or quavery voices of the grandmother and the wolf making funny sounds as well. So lots, nothing on the thumb, but you can use that to, to um, enhance each one you're talking about. A lovely thing for small children to play and it's got the setting too for a little red riding hood with the grandmother's house there. So that's been a, a very popular item, I think, but way back in the early days. Another one which I've much favoured, which has had a bit of action to it, which is very nice, is a sort of a frog-type character, this one here. Um, and think about him here, he's got a, one of these squeakers in the mouth. And that's a lovely idea for small children to do. I don't think there's place for your fingers to go in the, into the limbs there, although possibly here, no. I think it's entirely that, that effect like that, and the child can thoroughly enjoy making things squeak. So very simple movement inside, just with the fingers gripping it like that and making the things squeak. Very easy to do, and for a small child, they pick it up very quickly. This is a similar one made by a wonderful company in um, America called Folk Marnus. They've made some superb ones. Everything about them is detailed and uh, very well made. It's an apple, of course. It's got a stalk and it's got leaves. And you put just one, two, one little finger in it. All you need is your index finger. That's the only thing you need to do. And then you hold it and you put it into a little sleeve in there and out pops the worm in the apple, of course. Every apple has a worm. There it is, saying, I'm meeting my way through this apple. And you can talk about that, have a bit of fun, and then you can draw it, and he goes back into the apple through at the end. A very simple thing to require just your hand, your fingers around it, and single digit finger, and away you go with your little imaginative minds coming up with ideas. Very nice. There's a charming idea which I came across, I think it came from the Far East many years ago, back in the 1980s, which is the story of Cinderella, which you believe is a complete story. This is, once upon a time there was a poor little girl named Cinderella, and to go to the next chapter you lift up her apron and there's the next face. And she had a wicked stepmother, of course. And you go to the next chapter and it says suddenly a lady appears. This is her, possibly her fairy godmother who waved her magic wand and turned her into a princess. And she went to the ball, as you know. And then the prince had to ask, who's that beautiful girl? I want to marry her. So a lovely little thing with a doll where you can move the limbs around, but you've got the entire story just by lifting up each apron and getting to the next chapter. And you can read it as you go along. Very ingenious as a puppet. That's a perfect one for small children who have a good imagination, but not very good dexterity with their fingers. This one requires more dexterity. It's a kind of Rambo type sort of thing small boys would love to be able to do because it's a boxer, of course. And it's got a lovely mechanism inside where you just have your thumb doing it. And here he is, his head on a spring so it wobbles about and he could suddenly hit you in the face and go, oh, 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 like that. And both like that. And then when he's won it, he says, I won, I won, I won, I won, etc, etc, etc. So there's a lot of movement with that one and the idea of boxing things like that. Probably the best thing to do would be to have a tether balloon and go bang, 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 and bang against the balloon or against your face like that. Ow, 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 so, <laughs> whatever. It's a very, very nice little thing to play with. So uh, I've had a lot of fun going through my collection trying to find very unusual puppets. And this is a, 
as good as this place it gets. I'm sure there's going to be more to come.